Hi, Caroline Carney here at Palais Arts with Joseph Moreno and his beautiful, beautiful works. Uh, can you tell us about your photography, like introduce us to your pieces? Um, sure. So this piece is called Brothers and Sisters. Um, this is called Dynamic and this one is Sunbathing. They're all um, black and white photographic prints. Um, yeah. So uh, can you tell us how you, so these all have like a very, like you're, you're so like I know you. You and I have known each other since we were like little bitty, little, little little beginner adults. Uh, <laughs> like like I think that's a good phrase, beginner yeah, adults. We were adult. just starting, uh, and so uh, what I love about these, I love two things about your work, and they're dem all demonstrated here. Um, you play with words a lot, and you find humor in your subject, which I think is really fun. But also like in this, which is called sunbathing which is a cat sunbathing. Um, you have this great idea of light and space. And uh, I believe even in your artist statement, you talked about, um, what is the word I said earlier? Like a sis. Thank you, yeah. I always say it wrong. Um, can you talk kind of about that? Because I sure. think that that's really interesting. So um, we've all just come out of this lockdown and living through a pandemic and all of that. And so um, that sort of informed the central theme of all these objects, which is a sejura or sejura. Yeah, I think that's more how I say it, yeah. Um, so basically it's a break um, in the lines of poetry growing music. And that break gives a little pause that gives either the stuff before it or the stuff after it a little bit more gravity. Um, and so in thinking about this experience that we've all had, um, I tried to think about a corrective experience. So while that was maybe a more anxiety-ridden time, um, these are moments <clears throat> that depict moments of pleasure um, or, you know, just breaks in a day um, in which somebody can kind of take a rest. So kind of thinking about it like the space in between a breath, you know, inhale, exhale. Like that kind of thing. Because like you and I talk a lot about how one of the things that's interesting about life is that we all like are constantly recording in our brain these moments, and these moments, and these moments sure. that make up the narrative of our lives, but they're so ephemeral. Like, and something about that poignancy makes them funny and emotive and beautiful because it's not that moments are fragile, but moments are always fading. And so like this idea that you uh, captured all of the, like, the bus driver's taking a break, they're taking a break and getting ice cream, the cat is luxuriating in his, in his or her break, their break. Um, sure, sure. But there's this beautiful thing that you're catching a moment that is unique within that. And um, in a way, like, in that way, you're, like, looking at these beautiful moments that people experience. They're both mundane, but also these beautiful everyday experiences and kind of like adding humor and insight to them. Then highlight on the humor because this one cracks me up. Brothers, <laughs> sisters and bros. <laughs> so, so is this something that you're, I know you as a person, so I know that this is true, but I don't want to give it away. I could, I could tell you all about Joe in my opinion, <laughs> but it seems like that's kind of something that you want to reflect on, not just this pause and these moments, but the people within those moments. How did you start with that? Is that what you're doing and how did you start with that? For sure. Um, I think if I take it way far back, um, I started taking photographs as, you know, a small child. I talked a lot. And so just to get me to shut up, my dad basically threw a camera in my hand. <laughs> um, and also, I think I always felt a little bit like an outsider. Um, and experienced a lot of trauma in my life growing up. So having a camera in my hand allowed me to be in an observational mode where there was something between me and everything else that was going on around me. Um, and so there were things that I would try to do to amuse myself. Like I would have my camera and jump out and scare someone and then try to take a photo <laughs> of them to get the expression on their face. Um, and then that kind of just slowly built over the years into just really paying acute attention to the people and the places and the things around me. Um, and again, in that way that I talked about these images being sort of a corrective experience for the anxiety that I, you know, and I think a large majority of us felt during the lockdown, um, you know, just sort of training myself to look for things that were more positive in my environment um, and brought me more joy and more pleasure. Um, and so in each of these images, there's some kind of aspect of, you know, the people or, you know, animals, mm -hmm. little people. 
um, enjoying Sentient something, beings. enjoying yeah, yeah, sentient beings, enjoying the space that they're in, um, yeah. and taking a moment to sort of you know reflect or um, you know just stop and grab an ice cream, you know that kind of. Thing. What's funny is we, I think that we as a culture, and I don't know if this is intrinsically American, but it feels very American. When we hear the phrase self care, we think of these grand spa treatments and these grand like. I'm going to get my hair done and I'm going to get my nails done and I'm going to get a facial and all of those things are terrific self-care. But also a lot of self-care is just taking a moment to pause and kind of like just taking that moment to just rest and take a breath. Are you familiar with Mary Oliver, the poet? I'm not, but please. There's a really beautiful poem um, of hers called Wild Geese, which is probably her more famous poem. But um, at some point, one of the phrases goes something like you just have to allow the soft animal of your body love what it loves like you just have to let yourself exist and be and yeah um have a moment we put so much pressure on ourselves to you know perform different roles in our daily lives or be someone else or do something else and again i think these images reflect back to just a small little capsule of what it is to be human and i would hope that you know by hanging them in your space they can sort of serve as a visual mantra so that you know if you're coming in with you know three screaming kids around you and a whole bunch of shopping bags and you just kind of like see this out of the corner of your eye it can reset your way of thinking back to you know ah just taking that breath and just taking a pause and what's so funny is that you use mantra which gets used a lot with like yoga and meditation and um all those things which and what i think so funny about that is everybody makes those things about like especially meditation into this very big complicated thing and it's Actually not one single all. conscious breath that's all yeah that it's takes. one yeah. single conscious breath and it's a centering breath it, like that frees everything else and provides clarity and i think so like these ideas of respite between the anxiety they are such a yin and yang kind of thing that go together and sometimes it's not this grand self-care thing a lot of times it's just this quiet breath so and i'm a singer so i'm biased about breath because <laughs> I find breath and exhalation so calming. And these have great, I love that you use uh, Sashoro because I, I obviously talk about it with music because sure. as soon as I saw it, I was like, because all it is is this breath between the line that gives room, gives a moment to process. Space. Yeah, it gives space yeah. to process what's happened before and what's coming next and just exist in that moment. For sure. So I think that's really beautiful. And um, I think that these are works that, like especially the small works, but even this big work, there's such great detail in it that they demand to be seen in, seen, uh, in person. So we hope you'll come out to Palais Arts for our papers work show that runs from June 2nd through August 7th and see Joe's work and uh, all the great work we have here. Thank you so much for doing this with me. I love you so much. I love you too. <laughs>